Hey guys, uh, for this video today, I will be sharing my thoughts on a topic that I've honestly wanted to cover for the past few months now. And for this video today, I will be sharing my thoughts on the 2019 Major League Baseball Players Weekend uniforms because in my personal opinion, and I'm 99.9% .9 positive that most people agree with me on this, but the uniforms that Major League Baseball forced on the entire league, or both leagues in MLB this year, were absolutely garbage. They were beyond garbage. They were absolutely pathetic and downright atrocious uniforms. And I hope that Major League Baseball never does anything like what we saw this uh, season for the Players Weekend ever again. They were absolutely horrendous. They were beyond bad. They were totally and utterly horrendous. Now, what I will also be doing in this video today is I will be touching base a little bit on the past two years of the Players Weekend since this became an annual program starting in 2017. Now, the purpose of the Players Weekend is basically for the players to wear pullover what so far the past two years up until this year where they crapped the bed with monochromatic black and white uniforms, jersey to toe, and in the black uniform case for teams head to toe black, even the pants. Well, the past two years, the players have worn goofy pullover uniforms, bright, most of them being bright and colorful and being pullovers instead of button-up jerseys and as well as this year's jerseys, the players have been allowed to put nickname their nicknames on the back of their jerseys instead of their last names. And, like, for example, um, if Alexander Rodriguez was still playing in Major League Baseball, his player's weekend jersey would say A-Rod on the back, I'm sure. And I'm just using him as an example. Um, I can't... The thing is, with baseball, I'm not the most knowledgeable... So figuring out um, players' nicknames for me and whose nicknames or whose nickname belongs to which player is something I'd have a lot of trouble with. So that's why I go with A-Rod because it's one of the only ones I can think of. Also, um, I believe there's Big Papa, which was uh, David Ortiz's nickname, um, at least as far as I know. And correct me if I'm wrong on that, because I'm not fully sure on that. Also, um, I'm just trying to think of another one. Um, oh, I can't think of any anything anybody else's nicknames right now, so I'm not going to bother uh, trying to figure out any more. But I'm just thinking of the ones that I can think of off of the top of my head. But anyways, the point is, is that players, for these Players Weekend games have put their nicknames on the back of their jerseys rather than their last names. And these uniforms are meant to be fun, colorful, and clearly inspired until this year, of course, by the Little League World Series and minor and slash youth baseball uniforms. And am I against the idea of teams paying homage to the Little League World Series and to minor baseball and youth baseball which are basically the same thing I'm sure um, I'm okay with it in some cases but as I say that though I'm kind of torn and here's why there are teams like the Dodgers and the Yankees that in my personal opinion uh, seeing them in non- traditional in their non-traditional uniforms is kind of sacrilegious to me now i know not everyone's going to agree with that but do i really want to see a, a black yankees jersey that says all rise on it instead of i think that was you think it's aaron judge that wears number 99 on the yankees and i apologize for not being more knowledgeable on this subject but um, please bear with me because it's baseball is a sport that I don't follow as much as I follow football and of course hockey number one. So 
Um, but anyways, I'm trying to do my best here, so I apologize if I'm not getting things right or if I sound like a total noob when it comes to baseball, because honestly I am, and I'm not going to sit here and deny it. But, you know, when I see the Yankees wearing that or wearing a head-to-toe, black-on-black uniform, it just is not right. Other teams with classic uniforms, such as the Dodgers, I mean... I've seen a navy blue Dodgers players weekend jersey with royal blue on the sleeves and it looks okay. But, you know, there's some teams that seeing these players weekend uniforms being tailored to them just is not right to me. So, you know, I mean, I like the idea of doing fun colorful new designs based off of um, youth baseball and the Little League World Series as a tribute. But do I think that every team should do it? Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of that idea. I mean, if you've got a team like, for example, the Yankees participating in the Little League Classic, then I would be more... um, I would tolerate that. I think that would be okay. But, you know, seeing teams like that for a player's weekend, having, you know, names, nicknames on the back of their jerseys instead of their classic gray and white pinstripe uniforms, just to me, just isn't really right. It just, I mean, I understand what Major League Baseball is trying to pay homage to here and also trying to use this as an opportunity, of course, to offer some new merchandise for all fans to purchase, but... You know, I it just doesn't look right seeing a team like the Yankees wearing a uniform uh, such as this, the one that you see here. It's, I mean, for one weekend, I mean, it's not the end of the world, I'm sure. But for me, I guess, sorry if I come across as being a party pooper, but this type of thing for me, some of these designs are actually pretty good. Like even the Dodgers design you see here, without these royal blue numbers on the back and the arched name on the or nickname on the back if this was a button-up jersey with regular numbers and lettering on the back like their white and gray jerseys are have um it could be an actual decent alternate uniform but would i necessarily want to see the dodgers wear this design uh They're such a classic team i'm not sure if that would be right but as i say that i have openly said in the past that I do think that they should wear a royal blue version of their classic white and gray uniforms as an alternate uniform. Not very, not to be used all the time, but to be used once in a blue moon. I think that would be really cool because the Dodgers color is royal blue, yet they only ever wear white and gray. Which, although I totally and wholeheartedly respect their traditional uh, uniform designs that they've had for decades at the same time though seeing a blue jersey that perfectly matches their white and gray jerseys now and then I think would be wonderful and I know they do usually wear a royal blue jersey that matches their white and gray uniforms home and away uniforms uh, or jerseys for spring training but I think it'd be cool to see that a royal blue Dodgers jersey as an occasional alternate to be used very sparingly during the regular season as well so in some cases i'm okay with something different but in cases like this not every team in my opinion should be really having to be taking part newer franchises i'm more partial to but ones with such storied history as the yankees a uniform like this i mean if people like it that's great in my opinion but i don't think a team like the yankees should be wearing a uniform like this And I'll get into more about what I think some teams should do and some teams are I'm fine with doing already. So this is basically the idea of what the uniforms have been over the past two years. Some teams have changed their designs between 2017 and 2018 for the players weekend uniforms like the Philadelphia Phillies and the St. Louis Cardinals and even the uh, Washington Nationals here. Um, But overall... Um, for overall, the uniforms for a weekend as a whole, the colorful ones that we've seen the past two years have been, for the most part, in my opinion, not great, but tolerable. 
Uh, but this year's uniforms on the other side of the coin, my goodness, those are a whole different ball game. No pun intended because, oh my God, I don't know who approved that crap, but it's absolutely atrocious and I will get to it momentarily. But before I do, I just want to make sure I finish touching base on 2017 and 2018's Players Weekend uniforms. Point is, is that they are far more colorful. Uh, they actually were colorful and like the crap that they unveiled this year. So you had these some of these ones that were rather mediocre. Um, I The ones like the Padres and the Pirates gray ones with yellow sleeves or gold sleeves or whatever you want to call that color. Golden yellow sleeves just look hideous. Some of these orange on gray ones, in my opinion, they all don't look very good. Um... Some of these navy blue ones, like the Dodgers one was not bad. The Royals one was okay too. But, you know, all these teams having the same templated design. Um, for a weekend, it's okay. But, you know, I would actually prefer if a lot of these teams didn't really, didn't even bother with this event, to be honest. But since they do it, I mean, I understand what they're doing, paying homage to youth baseball and the Little League World Series. So, in that case, it's okay. But... You know, seeing teams with such iconic uniforms like the Yankees wearing this type of stuff for even a weekend, I think, is a little bit too much. Like, as a hockey fan, would I want to see the Montreal Canadiens wearing a blue jersey just for a player's weekend or something? No, I would not. So, even though baseball's regular season is 162 games, I don't even want to see the Yankees wearing this type of stuff. I wouldn't even want to see really see the Dodgers wear this type of uniform either. Even the Red Sox. Uh, I mean, sorry if I come across as being a bit of a party pooper, folks, but I, I it's just there's some teams that just should not be wearing this type of stuff. That's all I'm really trying to get at. Um, but before I go any further as well, um, where was I at here? Uh, there are overall, you know, seeing... The um, the teams wear something different now and then. Um, some of these designs, most of the designs certainly could be a lot worse. I mean, you've had teams like the Mariners wear like a Kelly Green type jersey, which I would love to see them adopt Kelly Green instead of the teal that they wear. And I'm sure a lot of people will, will disagree with me on that, but... I've never been fond of the Mariners' current uniforms, and honestly, I don't think the Mariners have ever really had the greatest of uniforms overall. But um, I do miss their old M Trident logo. I do think that's a really good logo, but I don't know. The Mariners' uniforms, especially their navy blue ones, even their teal ones, I'm not a big lover of. The team that I think should wear teal in Major League Baseball for sure is the Marlins. Uh, I mean, I'm, I don't mind the Mariners wearing teal, though. It is a unique color, but I would rather them actually wear Kelly Green. Call me crazy, but I, I really love Kelly Green. I think it's a beautiful and criminally underused color. That's all. But, you know, you look at teams like the Cardinals, who had a navy blue pullover in 2017 and last year had a red pullover. Both designs looked pretty good. The, the Nationals did a red one. It looked pretty good. The Blue Jays uniform for these players' weekends have, have been relatively mediocre. Um, the gray Pirates and Padres uniforms from a year ago, in my personal opinion, were absolutely terrible. Um, but there is one in particular. There's actually a couple that I want to show you guys real quick. Um, let me just get to them. Um, actually, I, I, I'm not going to have time to uh, find them in this video, but I think my absolute favorite players weekend uniform to date is the Minnesota Twins light blue one from last year, which, which had the navy blue sleeves and the red retro word mark on the front. It, to me, if it was a button up Jersey, I think it would be a wonderful alternate uniform. And, uh, here, let's see. I, okay, I, I've I've found a photo. Um, here we go. If I can't just fix my camera here, but 
That Twins jersey right there, and even that Mets one's okay too, but that Twins one has definitely got to be my favorite Players Weekend uniform out of all of the uniforms that we've had to see for the past three years now. So I just wanted to touch base a little bit on the past two years. Overall, the Players Weekend uniforms for the most part have been okay. Some of them have been good. Um for what they are, the Mets, the Dodgers, um, even the Cardinals, the Nationals. There are teams that, in my personal opinion, did a decent job with their uh, Players Weekend uniforms. And then you have, in my biased opinion, of course, a very beautiful Twins Players Weekend uniform that I think should be part of their regular rotation, believe it or not. I actually felt it was that good. Well, minus the plain single color number on the back if they just did a tweak to that i think it would be a perfect alternate um but overall most of them in my opinion are rather mediocre uh there are some that are decent there are some that are okay and there's some that are terrible and then there's that one that is an anomaly which i think it was absolutely gorgeous so now i really want to get into 2019's uniform so Let's start with these uh, all monochromatic black on black uniforms. So the only white anything on the uniform is the white accents for the white trim on the letters of the word marks, the white trim around the numbers, and of course white letters on the back because who the hell is ever going to be able to possibly read black num or letters on a black jersey? But look at look at these things. They're monochromatic garbage. I mean, a team like the Red Sox wearing this crap, the Yankees, every team in baseball, even teams like Toronto that don't wear black anymore, which I still can't believe they went over a decade wearing that garbage that they did. Whoever thought of that idea, in my opinion, deserves to be fired because for letting that go for that long. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Then you got teams like the Red Sox wearing this crap. You've got teams such as the Dodgers, as you can see here, wearing white on white. These guys, how can you even see their word marks or the letters or anything on the back of these things? Like, they didn't even make the letters on the back black. Like, what the hell? Who honestly approved this garbage? Jesus Christ. Actually, if I remember correctly, I hear that for the first game of the Players Weekend, the Cubs decided to say, uh, screw you, Major League Baseball, we're wearing our blue hats with these uniforms. And as far as I know, in this photo here, you see players wearing white helm or white caps, but for the white uniforms, players wore black caps so that, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was to help with visibility of the baseball if it gets hit by the person at the bat who's up to bat to help make it easier to see the ball, which thank goodness they did that. If that's why they did, which I think that's correct by the way, but if I am wrong, please feel free to correct me. I would really appreciate it. But you know, who thought of this crap, a team with uniforms as classic as the Dodgers wearing this crap. And I don't even, it's to me, it's not even a, it goes beyond the teams like the Dodgers and Yankees with absolute classic untouchable uniforms. This is a fact that the whole league has a mandated uniform system for a weekend of either head to toe or jersey to toe white uniforms with white on white everything or head to toe monochromatic black on black garbage. So they forced this crap on the entire league or on both leagues which form Major League Baseball, the National League and the American League teams. Basically, all the teams. All right? That's the, the gist of it. All of the teams have been forced to either wear this all head-to-toe white seaman suit crap or this crap. I mean, there are some teams that could probably do a black on black uniform like this like maybe for example just as a hypothetical example maybe the pittsburgh pirates for an alternate uniform or something but the red Sox, the yankees the blue jays the royals uh what the hell 
And those white uniforms are the worst of the absolute bloody worst. White on white? And this black on black stuff, I'm not giving it an excuse, but what I'm saying is the black pants, black jersey combo is certainly more tolerable than the white jersey with white numbers and word marks on a white jersey with white pants and white hats. Well, they wore black hats. Sorry, my bad. But this crap is just terrible. I mean, if a team attempted a, an alternate uniform wearing black pants and a black jersey, at least I'm sure that it would have colored numbers and colored word marks so that there's color contrast and this type of thing could work. Obviously, white uniforms work in baseball. They work all around in any sport. But, you know, normally a white uniform almost always looks good unless the team's uniform design is absolute pure garbage. Like, for example, the Arizona Diamondbacks. But, you know, a team like the Dodgers, where the word mark would be in royal blue and the numbers on the front, the front number underneath the word mark would be red and the numbers and letters on the back would be royal blue. I mean, if they did that, this uniform is would be its regular awesome self. Classic self, even, of course. But, you know, when teams are wearing, are being mandated to wear these head-to-toe white uniforms where there's no color on them, and they're just white on white everything, and even the letters, the names on the back are in like a light gray, where the hell's the legibility, man? Where's the legibility? Not only that, but this just looks hideous. It's so bad. And these black uniforms, I mean, everything being black on black just looks awful. It looks terrible. Now, as I say that, though, if you had a team like, for example, the Pirates that had golden yellow numbers and golden yellow word marks on the front and possibly hopefully some type of golden yellow striping on their socks then okay something like this might actually be tolerable for an alternate uniform but black on black on black on black like this for the entire of ma entirety of major league baseball this is just ridiculous this is crap absolute garbage and then you have these silly players nicknames on the back to make it even a little bit worse in my opinion now sorry to sound like a bit of a party pooper but i'm really not a big fan of the players putting nicknames on the back of their jerseys i mean if major league baseball continues to do that and the players really enjoy doing it and fans like it overall, then okay. But, you know, I just find... I'm sorry if I come across as being a bit of a party pooper, but I don't know. I, I think that for nicknames and stuff, that type of thing would be great for, like, an all-star weekend or something, just to do something different for that. But even the, uh, the um, all-star game in Major League Baseball has such a storied history to it. So... I wouldn't really want them to mess with that. You know, if you had like an all-star game in the NHL or Major League, or sorry, the NBA, then if players wanted to do silly nicknames on the back of their jerseys for like an all-star game for a year, okay, it wouldn't, you know, I think for one year I could tolerate it. But, you know, I don't know. Even as I say that, I, I still would not want nicknames on the back of the jerseys. I mean, it just doesn't seem it right, and it seems kind of stupid in my opinion. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I mean, I'd rather the jerseys have players' nicknames on the back of them for the players' weekend than hideous designs like what they came up with for this year. I would, I would give up the... Um, I would keep the nicknames if that meant getting rid of these players' weekend designs that we got this year, especially the uh, white ones. The white-on-white -white uniforms. That's just so stupid. 
But for me, the nicknames, I don't know. It's I get that the idea is to pay homage to youth baseball and to the Little League World Series, and for the most part, and I, I see the concept of making the jerseys more as not only a tribute to them, but also making the weekend a little bit sillier, so it's kind of like kind of a childish type event. But does that mean that the players should put their nicknames on the back? I'm see, I'm torn. I mean, for one weekend in the season, in a 162 game long regular season in baseball, in most cases, I don't think it's the end of the world. But I don't know. I just I'm not really a big lover of it myself, and I would per- honestly prefer if they did not do it at all. Where. You know, maybe for like say the um, Major League Baseball All Star um, game, where maybe the day before, where they have the home run derby, maybe if the players wore goofy jerseys with nicknames on them, okay. But for a whole weekend, I don't know. It just it's just a little bit excessive, and these the colorful designs that they've had over the past two years have been okay. But for me, what I would do is for teams like the New York Yankees, I would just come up with a bonus traditional design. Like, for example, a perfect flip of their classic white pinstriped jersey. And wear that for a weekend without player names on the back at all, continuing their tradition with their classic white, classic home and away uniforms. For a team like the LA Dodgers, Instead of wearing one of these silly and ugly and, in this year's case, absolutely hideous uniforms, why not just wear a royal blue version of their home and away jerseys for a weekend without nicknames on it? Um, you know, for for maybe a team like, say, the Chicago Cubs, you know, maybe they could just do an old royal blue jersey from, like, say, the 1980s or something. Just as an example, you know, there's some teams that I would prefer them to do something more traditional. I'm not against, see, I'm not against teams doing something a little bit different now and then. But it's when teams, it's when teams that have such classic looks like the Los Angeles Dodgers step out onto the field for a game wearing this type of garbage or two. That's something that I have a problem with. I mean, there's some teams like the Twins that created a really nice Players Weekend jersey a year ago. (laughs) Powder blue with navy blue sleeves and a red word mark on the front. You know, that's the type of design that they could bring back in the future as an alternate jersey, obviously without the number lettering style that they had on the back of that jersey. And I think it would be a wonderful addition to their rotation of uniforms. But, you know, it's... I don't know, I... I'm of the belief that it would be actually better if they didn't do these special uniforms at all, to be honest. But, you know, at the same time, seeing teams do something a little bit different for to pay homage to youth baseball and the Little League World Series, you know, on one side of the coin, it's, it's kind of cool to see teams try something different. But on the other end of the coin, I don't like seeing teams like the Dodgers and the Yankees wearing such weird, hideous uniforms. That, to me, is just stupid. And, you know, I think most, like, for, and I'll use the Montreal Canadiens as an example because they've got one of the most iconic uniform looks in sports history. You know, would I want to see the Montreal Canadiens wearing some silly blue and neon green jersey just to celebrate minor hockey? No. I wouldn't even want to see it for one game, let alone an entire weekend series of baseball. Or the Chicago Blackhawks wearing neon green and graphite dark steel gray just to celebrate youth hockey with some type of design like these international hockey jerseys we've got now. I wouldn't want to see that type of crap. I'm sorry. I just wouldn't. I mean, for a weekend in a 162 game long season, because the season's so damn long anyway, it it makes it easier for me to accept it, but... Still, I, I'm torn because some of the designs have actually been pretty decent for short-term usage. 
But, you know, at the same time, I don't want to see teams like the Yankees and the Dodgers and teams with such classic, iconic uniforms wearing these hideous designs. I mean, I guess I'm of the point of the case of if it's good, if it's really good, then great. If not, leave it alone. But anyways, you guys, I've been, I see I've been talking for half an hour now and I just wanted to do a video about this because it's a topic that I've wanted to rant on for a while. These uniforms from this year were absolutely hideous. And I think most people are in agreement on that. But anyways, I would love to hear you viewers' thoughts on these uniforms and the things I've talked about in this video. I'm sure we're not all going to agree. But, you know, there's just... I mean, it, to me, it's either a case of do it in a way that it's very tasteful and nice looking and something you want to see every year or don't do it at all. I mean, at least the past two years, we've had players weekend uniforms that overall, although I don't think they've been the greatest, at least they've been something that, you know, did produce some okay uniforms. And in the twins case last year, I thought really good uniforms. Um, but anyways, um, on that note, um, I'm just going to go to one more photo here just to close things out. But anyway, I think these are the uniforms from a year ago, the back of them. Or most of them, not all of them. I mean, at least these ones had some color. If, if Major League Baseball and the teams want to do these uniforms, okay, fine. But at least make them a more colorful and actually for the most part, create some of them that are more tolerable to look at, unlike the ones we had this year. But anyways, you guys, after 32 minutes of talking, I will finally call it a wrap on this video. I hope you've all enjoyed it, and I'd love to hear what other people think about this. But anyways, you guys, take care, and of course, as usual, everyone, bye for now.